Hey guys, I'm back. I have never been so glad to get my old Amy back. So she's back again. I've just picked it up from the dealer. And as promised, I want to show you around some of the comparisons between the previous one that I just had. Um, thank you for all the comments and advice. Uh, just to let you know, I've rejected the second one. And I'm waiting now for the Citroen Ami team to give me a third. And if not, hopefully I can get my money back. Um, thank you again for all the support. I really appreciate it. I just want to say to a few people that said, look, it's a cheap product, what can you expect? It is a cheap product and I don't expect it to be built like a BMW, I know that. I just want it to be usable and not have major faults. Some of the faults are minor, some of them are more serious, but it's not just about the product, it's about the service, it's about the stuff you've got to go through. Nobody likes anybody complaining, so you have to deal with all of the people you know, the dealers, the customer service people. It's all of the effort you've got to go to, all the emails, all the phone calls. It's the journey that you go on. It's not just about the actual AMI itself. It's all of those things combined. But I want to show you this AMI, my own AMI that I've had for six months. Now, this AMI, uh, as some of you know, leaks a wee bit underneath. Um, it leaks a wee bit underneath, and there's a few other little hiccups here and there. Some of the alignment and so on. Some of the clearances are a bit weird. But... Comparing it to the one I've just had, this AMI is much better. So I just want to show you some of the things on my AMI to compare. So we'll spin around. So I just want to show you. So this is my own AMI that I've had for quite some time. And as you'll notice, obviously all the badges all fit nicely. They're not peeling off. Um, the plastic bodywork is much more is, is much tougher. I mean, it still flexes. It still flexes here, but it's it's a lot tougher. It doesn't move as much, like it doesn't flex as much, you can actually push it and the AMI moves, you know, it's it's tougher um, and it just seems to be more sturdy, like everything just seems more sturdy, there's no bulges on the back, you know, all the frame, you know, nothing's bulging through, um, so it's a lot better in that respect, it just feels much more sturdy and inside the AMI, if we just show you, so obviously before when I was in the AMI, you could see that this area here was really, really messy. On this one, it's it's much smoother on both sides. Not perfect, it's much smoother. And you'll see there's a gap there of half a finger width really. Um, and if you turn around to the other side, it's exactly the same on this side, half a finger width. So you can see here, they're all aligned the same. On the last one, the, the plastic body was squeezed up against the frame. But it's not it's not like it on this one. It's all even all the way around So the actual canopy of the plastic canopy of the car is in the exact same position across the whole car So it's therefore better aligned Also things like the dashboard is it just feels much more sturdy like much more sturdy and if I take these away there's none of the holes that you had in the last. The new one had holes in the dashboard. This one doesn't. It's still scratchy thin plastic, but it just feels sturdier. And it's the same here. And again in there, there was holes and it was thinner. There's no hole there and it's much more sturdy. So there's a definite difference in some of the parts inside the interior. You know, these bits here just feel much more sturdy. Like on the last one, it was all shaking around. This one is just more, it's more sturdy. It still shakes around a bit, but it's still much more sturdy than before. So there's definitely differences in the quality. Um, and yeah, I mean, there's some little areas that aren't perfect, but it's much neater. I mean, the welding's still really poor, but there's no missing welds or anything. All the welds seem to cover, you know, pretty much all of the areas. They're just a wee bit messy. But the finish is better. And of course, on the floor, I've got a box here, sorry. On the floor, there's no like, um, there's no like bulge or anything, it's perfectly flat. So if I show you, if I just move that box out of the way, um, the floor here's perfectly flat. Like there's no there's no bulge or anything. Here the floor is flat. There's a wee bit of moisture here, but um it's perfectly perfectly flat. You can't feel any sort of you can't feel anything protruding through. So it's it's a lot better. So there's definitely some differences there in terms of the um, in terms of the quality. Um, so yeah, it's it's more. It just seems more sturdy. And if I, I mentioned the straps were a lot shorter on the on the last one, they really were. I mean, look, the straps on Miami are 
much much longer almost twice as long you know really nice but yeah on the one I just had the strap probably finished about there so there's a massive difference like half as short you know um so yeah there's definite differences none of the like all the wheel arch liners are nicely tucked behind the body like way behind here they're a good a good centimeter or so inset from the wheel arch on the last dummy the plastic was sitting out over here so all this wheel arch line was in a, a completely different position but on this one it's perfectly fine it's all uniform the door sits a lot better it doesn't drop or droop when you open it up um obviously on miami there's less clearance there's more clearance on this side for my for my fingers but on this side there's much less clearance here you know so it's 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 tighter but apart from that it's a much better it's much better it's just more sturdy i mean it shakes and it, it shakes but it doesn't you can flex it around but it doesn't squeak and rattle you know it's um it's definitely more sturdy especially on the front the front on the last one was really flexy but on this one it's still flexy but it's it's not all moving you know it's it's a lot it's just it's just sturdier i think that's the only way i can say it it's just a more sturdy construction um so yeah it's uh there's definitely differences there and i'm not sure what the rationale is um is the plastic a bit thinner have they made things a bit thinner to, to to lower the weight or to make it cheaper i don't know but all i know is this one is superior to the one i've just had um it's just superior so i'm kind of reluctant to give this one back again if the next one's going to be to the same quality as the last one i haven't actually looked underneath miami for quite some time so i don't know if there's going to be any rust in here let's have a little look and see uh is there rust there not really uh, is there any rust there i don't see anything major it doesn't seem bright orange like the other one Maybe yeah, there's a little bit in the corner there, I think. But this has been sitting out here for six months. You know, six months has been sitting out. So it seems pretty good in there. It doesn't seem too bad, so... Unless the one I've had has been sort of sitting around. Sorry, sitting around for the last few months, I don't know. But there's a definite difference in the quality. So we'll have to wait and see what the next one's going to be like. And when it comes, I'll be sure to check it over again. And if I find there's more problems, I'll give it back as well. Um, I just hate complaining. But as I say, it's not just about the vehicle. It's about the whole experience. So there you go. So there's definite differences between the quality of, of, of the last one I've had and my old one. So let's see what the next one's like. And we'll let you know on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.